Good morning! I've traveled all the way from Tokyo to this spot, Seki City in Gifu Prefecture, for the Hamono Festival or the Cutlery Festival held on the first weekend in October. Japan makes some of the best knives all over the world and today we're going to get a chance to see some of them because Seki is a center of knives and swords and apple peelers and scissors and razor blades. And where exactly is Seki you may ask? It's down there in central Japan's Gifu Prefecture, a short trip from Nagoya, Japan's fourth largest city. It's at the base of many mountains, giving it loads of clean, fresh water. Spreading out from the city center are a lot of things to see and do. Welcome to Seki. Let's have a quick look around. Seki is a charming place. Mino is a town nearby known for paper. It has an old, well-preserved village area. This is Monet's Pond, because it really does look like a painting, carp swimming through watercolor. The rivers are pristine, and famous for Ayu sweet fish. This countryside restaurant on the river prepares Ayu fish in so many different ways. Seki also has fantastic river unagi, char grilled eel. One of my favorite dishes, don't miss out on unagi. With that slightly sweet and salty soy taste that spreads deliciousness over the eel and rice. And the smile on my face. We've come here for the Hamono Matsuri, Seki's Cutlery Festival, where its world-famous knife makers show off and sell their goods, often at discounted prices. This is the Seki Hamono Matsuri, or the Cutlery Festival. There are 43 stands here, so if you're in the market for a knife, this is the place to be. It's a showcase of knives. Seki is one of the world's most famous historical sites for samurai swords, but after World War II, the industry shifted to cutlery, and they take pride in the many different products they produce. The Seki name is a brand in itself. At this festival, you'll find rare and unique stock from vendors, the craftsmanship without question some of the best in the world. The events at the Hamono Festival spill out all over the city. You'll find knives made from all kinds of strong materials. These knives are made from stone and cut like a champ. I was looking to buy an all-purpose knife, 15 to 18 centimeters long. I have one question. あの、ま、非常に ま、日本特有の材料なんですけども、非常に海外に似合って、これで67層。はい。あります。
、まあ、特にまたその戦後というか、駒の業界が非常に盛り上がって、まあ、ハサミとポケットナイフと包丁とカミソリは、まあ、全国でもナンバーワンのシェアを持ってます。そ,うその刀の乗り口からそうですねそれから続いてますねわあ、そう、関は知られているのは今、実は、その歴史の歴史のサムライスワードを見ることができます。そのことを見ることができます。そのことを見ることができます。そのことを見ることができます。そのことを見ることができます。そのことを見ることができます。そのことを見ることができます。そのことを見ることができます。そのことを見ることができます。そのことを見ることができます。あのバ,タバタじゃないねあでも、一般的なナイフは何でも切ることができるけど、すごく綺麗なナイフ、何のすすめあります、まあ、家庭でよく使われるサイズはこの三徳というサイ,、はい、あのサイズが一番似てあります、これは野菜でも肉でも切れるようにあの作られた材料あの包丁なので、はいまあ、これが一番おすすめはおすすめです。はい I love the handle and the balance. The weight was perfect. Never in all my life did I ever think I was going to spend about $180 on one knife. But the quality, the workmanship, the history, everything makes this such a really valuable thing, something I'll have for all of my life. I'm definitely going to buy it at this, at this、uh, Hamono Festival. Bye. I brought my knife to a high end restaurant in Seki that served the area's top Wagyu beef. I wanted my knife to sink its teeth into something beautiful right away. This is Hiragyu, Gifu Prefecture's premium Wagyu beef. This is a generous cut. And this is my Seki made knife. Hida Beef is a top Japanese beef brand from Gifu that rivals Kobe and Matsuzaka beef. Although not a challenge to cut, it seems the perfect complement to my Seki knife. My new knife is beautiful. The handle is red wood. The three rivets look great. The handle made for crushing garlic. The Damascus steel pattern, a combination of steel that makes it light, strong, and razor sharp. Knife in Paradise. Now it's my turn to sink my teeth into that steak. Hidagyu just melts in your mouth, not as oily as Kobe beef, even more tender, and more than satisfying after a day of knife shopping. No need to say another word. Samurai Swords. A performance at center stage during Seki's Hamono Festival showed the discipline and skill of the samurai. And the importance of their sword. In the Seki Sword Tradition Museum, you can see many of their swords on display. Seki has been a center for swords for over 700 years, and they are very proud of that history. They are dedicated to the materials and the craft, and it shows in their skill a focus on perfection with acute attention to every detail. You can see a traditional Japanese sword forging demonstration at least four times a year here and during the Hamono Festival. Air is pumped into the fire to make it very hot. Temperatures reach about 1,350 degrees Celsius, which makes the steel soft without melting. It needs to be soft for this. Hammering it flattens it out so it can be cut and folded over, which strengthens the steel. It's put back into the fire, then the process is repeated, each time making the steel stronger. 
It's cut and bent back, then folded. It's folded from front to back and then from side to side to create a cross pattern for strength. And this also eliminates the voids in the metal. A typical samurai sword is folded 10 to 15 times. This not only makes it stronger, folding the steel removes impurities. The technique has been passed down from master to apprentice since the 13th century. To become a swordsmith, you must go through a five-year apprenticeship to become licensed. And swordsmiths can only make two long swords per month. Each sword made must be registered with the Japanese government. The steel is coated in a mixture of clay, water, and straw ash to protect it between foldings. The total process to make a samurai sword in this traditional way takes about two months, including the assembly, decoration, polishing, and mounting with scabbard. Swords can be made in a more modern way in three to four weeks by master craftsmen. The average price of a real Nihonto sword is 400,000 to 600,000 yen, or four to six thousand dollars. If you want the best, be prepared to pay thirteen thousand to twenty thousand dollars, or even more, depending on the craftsman. Each one is forged special in this way. The block is then elongated, cut, folded, and forge welded again. As the steel gets stronger from being folded, it requires a trio to hammer. As you can see, there's a rhythm to the process. Tamahagane, or jewel steel, is the type of steel used, made in the traditional Japanese way, in a clay tub furnace. It contains around 1% carbon content. Oh, and it's illegal to export Tamahagane steel. That ensures that the best swords are only made in Japan. In this demonstration, the metal is hammered and folded only five times. For the forging demo, that's enough. The work to lengthen, craft, polish, and sharpen this katana will take a lot more skill as well. On the table, you can see the steps of sword construction. Respect to the master swordsmiths of Seki. This Chambara performance made me want to buy a sword, but for me, maybe not a real one. If you want to buy something cheaper, there are display swords which you can take home with you for less than $100. The edges are dull, but they look the part. This is a display Kodachi or short sword. Pretty cool. Unlike these professionals who wield real katana, I'd best stick to non-lethal weapons for now. What's a display sword good for? It can become the most dangerous looking mirror in the world. Good hair day. Seki and the cutlery festival was a lot of fun. The city mascot even has knives as ears. The Hamono Matsuri or cutlery festival is a perfect time to visit Seki. It's not just for knives and sword enthusiasts. It's a place where we can say the soul of Japan still exists strong in manufacturing something so well, it's perfect. Japanese knives are some of the best in the world, if not the best, and Seki City is the place to be if you're interested in knives because it's backed with centuries of making samurai swords, and that kind of history is put into the knives that they make today. Seki knives are a cut above the rest. Next time I head to Kagoshima's Sakurajima for the volcano experience. Thanks for watching Only in Japan. 
Check out the latest episode, channel playlist, and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Mata ne.